Hello everyone, my name is Red7 coming at you with the trailer breakdown for the patch 0.12. Right from the start we see that we have more of the same. Same buildings, same cars, same environment. It is normal, we have not left Tarkov, it's the same geographical area. All makes sense here, it's a new map but it's still the same region. Here's the first time we see the minefields the devs are or were announcing in the patch notes and even before that. You will see more footage with these minefields a bit later. We also get to see how the new grass and the new environment looks like. Keep in mind that we have not seen a vegetation revamp yet. This one still needs to come in the future. The first scenes reveal us an area with a lot of cover and a big map. Some of the places are already known to us from some screenshots like the big ball on the right there, which is this one I guess but from a different view. Some more footage with the military base, we see some of the interiors this time, beautiful new lighting, some LMGs on crates and the first controversial things. First a 7 man squad. You can count them there, there are 7 men checking their gear and preparing to march apparently for the new map. If you remember this new map is located between customs and shorelines. So is this a hint that we would need to go customs first and from there cross to the military base? And the second one, why a 7 man squad? Are the devs increasing the size of the teams? We can only speculate here and I checked some other sources, no one knows so far what this can exactly mean. Also we get to see new character customization, looks different, I do not know what to say yet. Also new weapon parts, check out this new scope. The next frame shows us how they start patrolling or marching towards somewhere. Hint to something or not, I do not know, here we get to see the new backpack on the back of one of the PMCs. Now military base with more inside footage and beautiful lights, also with the first look at the new character animations. The PMC looks more heavy and more realistic. Here we see some more beautiful weapon and character customization details. On the left corner we see the wooden hand grip. BDU pants on the guy next to him, the same scope again and some new weapon parts. Here new mods for the Remington is just some stuff that I'm pointing while looking at the footage. There is a lot more that I cannot talk about in a small YouTube video. The amount of things we see is huge. On the left BDU pants and the BDU jacket and the possible new helmet on that guy at the edge. Also a good overview on the area in front of the guys. Here the new bear shirt or flannel which looks very cool and the possible new vest on that same guy, I'm not entirely sure. Also the AKS handguard I showed you guys in some other videos, this one. The guy in front also wears something new, I'm gonna show it to you again in a bit. Here we see some more movement inside the building with good character animations moving forward, sidestepping, all look more natural and clean, not jittery. The next scene also shows some beautiful details. One using the surgical kit probably to cure his blackout stomach, another one drinking and one approaching the teammate in front. Notice the smooth movement and the way the weapon is holstered or positioned on the guy with the backpack and on the guy with no backpack. You see the difference? It's this attention to details which makes EFT unique. Cool stuff, right? Here we have the beautiful VS24 handguard together with a scope that I don't know. You guys please say the name of this one in the comments below. Also a dust cover or a rail system that I'm not sure if we have in the game. Probably not. Some more aerial footage and we cut to the same guys we saw before with that beautiful AK and here is where the fight begins. They get shot at from a different building, we get to see the enemies shortly and then cut back to the same guy and here is how good we see through the new scope. Also a first clean look at the P90 with holo on top and suppressor. Some new AK attachments here, beautiful stuff as well. A short shot with the baddie doing his job and another precious view with the P90 modded differently now. Scavs are approaching the area now and the second one has different outfit if you have a closer look. Also pay attention at the amount of detail this scene has. Rubble, dirt, all that stuff. 
The next one is probably my favorite one. Here you see how big the map is and how much you have to travel until reaching the buildings. Beautiful green colors as well. Pay attention at the moving speed and the animation of the guy who starts running. Cool stuff, right? A small grenade outside and the beautiful P90 again, this time almost standard and simple but still nice looking. Then we cut to some more losers running into the building and to one of the sniper nests on top of one of the roofs on the opposite side of the map. The big ball is now on the left side, you see. At the beginning it was on the right. He has the Remington with new mods and the new sniper scope with a lot of chevrons and details. No idea how it's called. Here we probably have the AK-308 with what looks like a fell drum mag. Beautiful weapon, the devs announced it some time ago, I did a small video about it. It is not in the patch notes, it will probably be added in the final ones. Here one of the 50 cal insurgents gets wrecked by a guy with a cool looking red dot. Notice the nice position of the insurgent there at the window or balcony, huge advantage. FN fell shooting and the first good view of the 50 cal reloading and preparing to shred. Right after that the next shredder, the grenade launcher with an operator with the new helmet and the mean face. Then we see some scavs getting wrecked immediately by the explosion of the launcher with long range. Oh dude this will destroy the noobs man, I mean me, not cool. We move then to some more interesting CQC combat and some more scavs entering the fight. Will they survive? Probably not. More combat outside and the 50 cal destroying people without mercy. Now because of the music we don't get to hear the exact sound of the new weapons. So we will have to wait for some more footage or for the patch itself. I wish we would have a moment of silence to enjoy those new sound effects. We get to see more intense combat indoors with beautiful light effects and sounds and three more losers shooting together destroying people somewhere down there. The first glimpse at Glucar with his thick neck and his quad. He is carrying the Ash 12 indeed and one of his mates has added a shoes. Is that possible? No way man. Well, it's Tarkov. Here a first look at the thermal monocular. Probably this guy here could be very OP unless the devs make it expensive or hard to get. It has a huge range and it will be a lot easier to use in combat. Easier than the Reap IR. More scavs fighting and the FLIR thermal scope that you see here looks amazing, it's going to be my favorite one I guess, it looks so cool man. Another 50 cal operator and his teammate covering his ass, also awesome movement effects there and now we see the P90 in action, almost no recoil as it should be, beautiful weapon. Some shots in the basement, the court destroying with that 50 caliber. Then we see some more people running and approaching. We also get to see the M9 pistol for a short while and then the grenade launcher. Here is a night shot with the outfit I was telling you guys before. It looks good and it could be a sniper coat for the future ghillie suit. Who knows if the devs will let us craft a ghillie on top of that coat. It will be cool, right? In the same shot we see the new explosion, blast and effect with cool ragdolls. I like it so far. Next shot is also beautiful. People having a fight in the open while waiting for the train to come, I think. It's hard to tell who are they fighting with. Maybe some guys on the train? The same 50 cal with scope we saw before, this time with some targets to chew and a good position. Oh wait, it's not a 50 cal, it's a grenade launcher. Holy shit, now I see cool stuff man. Grenade launcher with scope and advantageous position. Oh lord, have mercy on me. More shooting and dying and what is cool at the next one is we get to see how someone blew up himself in the minefield. Something I will probably do just for fun. We see a lot of grass even in the distance in this shot. Really really happy with this so far. Then some more shooting and dying and yes some more shooting and dying. This is what we are good at in Tarkov right. Different perspectives but more of the same until we cut to this guy reloading the MP5 while running. Revamped animation here as well. Smoother and more natural. 
I like this one so far. A lot better than our clunky current one, right? Next shot shows us the 5.7 in action and this weird and at the same time cool looking scope and the Saiga with the drum mag and more 5.7 footage. Cool stuff. Now the Choo Choo approaches and players are preparing to meet it. Here as I told you before, look at how the weapon is holstered if no wearing a backpack. Attention to details, right? Cool stuff dudes. We switch then to more and more shooting till we reach this player's calf trying to collaborate with the USEC. Is this part of the extraction they talked about previously? I mean it could be, let's wait and see. Some more shooting and checking mag animations and a guy rushing very fast towards an area with baddies. More shooting, more cool weapon attachments, more dying and more rushing for the train maybe. I guess so because this guy missed it and a beautiful happy ending for the guy we saw somewhere at the beginning with that unknown scope and those new mods for the AK. Now wait just a moment, we are not done, let's take a look at the hideout. As you enter the hideout you see that you have no door, right? Look at the same area but when it's finished. It has one so you will have to find one in raid, I guess. Or who knows, exciting, right? Then the bear turns around and enters and we see some of the future facilities. Or what could be, what will be your future facilities. The hideout is empty and looks awful. Well, this is how you get it from the start and here is where you'll have to work and upgrade. Welcome home, soldier. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He then says, well, 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 what do we have here? And that's my detailed breakdown of the trailer, leaving you after my outro with the entire trailer with zero cuts. You liked the video, you found it informative, consider subbing and sharing it with your friends and also supporting me on Patreon if you have the means. Remember, I also stream on Twitch daily starting at 9.30 a.m. CET time. Join me there and let's play together and have a good time. Thank you for watching and thank you patrons for the support provided. I will talk to you guys in the next video or on stream. Take care and have a nice week. Here's the entire trailer. Peace.
Так, 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 так. Что тут у нас? 